Just paint it on like that. We're gonna put us a nice little tree over here. That's gonna be a nice little QR code. Now look at here, buddy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lay that on there. We're gonna ladder it up there nice and tight, nice and perfect. Look at that there. Get it right in those crackies. Hello everyone. In today's video, we're gonna be Mod Podging a puzzle together. This one is gonna be some of the puzzle saver Mod Podge that we have, and this is water-based sealer, glue, and finish. We also have some of the brushes right here as well to apply the Mod Podge. And in front of us right here, we have a one million dollar puzzle from Mischief that I have already done. And if you guys do not know what mischief puzzles are, they're like really cool QR codes. You don't get anything to go off of. You build the puzzle and you actually have a chance to win anywhere from 25 cents all the way up to a million dollars. And this puzzle right here actually won me 25 cents. Wah, wah, wah. I ain't got a soundboard, so I do it myself. Now this is actually going to be a pretty quick video, but I figured I would go ahead and show you all exactly how to do this because I want to get four of these and put them all together like as a wall piece converged at the blue or the red but have them like all in the middle and then have the other colors on the outside so i think that's going to be pretty cool to hang up on my studio wall so that's what i'm doing this for today and hopefully by the end of it i will have four but right now there's one underneath here as well that is already complete so let's go ahead and mod podge this top one and see exactly what we've got now when it comes to the application process we're going to be using the largest brush possible just so i can cover the most area and make sure that everything is all smoothed out most effectively with this brush right here. So let's go ahead and open up our Mod Podge as well. Mod Podge, rather. Doesn't mention anything about shaking. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a shake. Open it back up. And it is all white. Hopefully it dries clear. Uh, it's four puzzles, so should dry clear. Let's go ahead and start applying it and take a look at the finished product. What? Is this for real right now? Here, I'm going to go off the side a little bit. Look, I'm actually, I'm going to do it the quick way. I'm going to go ahead and pour some out right here. Like so. Get the brush. Foam it up. You know how it is. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All righty. Now we're in there, guys. Now we're getting stuff done. This is why the big brush comes in handy. It's like big bang, take little bang. This is big brush, take little brush. Do the borders real good because you want those to stick real well. You know, he does one one long strokes too. You know, come back this way, whoop, double back. Hit it with one of them numbers, you know. Oof, I just not dipped my whole hand in the side over here. Not good. All right. I have to stand up a little bit. Grab some over here. Do your swoopy whoop. Put the old swoop de whoop on it. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys know what that swoop de whoop do. Just paint it on like that. We're gonna put us a nice little tree over here. That's gonna be a nice little QR code. Now look at here, buddy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lay that on there. We're gonna ladder it up there nice and tight, nice and perfect. Look at that there. Get it right in those crackies. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now what we're gonna do here from this moment on forward, I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. I'm gonna get right wipe it down this way. Make sure you got your lines all pretty. Done up, you know. Boozam, boozam, boozam. Hit it one of them. You know, whoa. And then keep it coming down there. And once you got it coming down the block there, what you're gonna do is go right in the spot, right in the tub again. Get you one last little bit for the corners down here. Make sure you got it painted right on there. Lock so nice and even. Don't forget your cracks. Don't forget your border. And look at that. We got us a nice little puzzle. Now since we have the puzzle saver applied, let's go ahead and wait on it to dry. And I'm going to show you guys the finished product. And then once you let it dry, it'll look something like this. And you'll be able to just flip it around. Flop it. Wiggle it. And you can't even tell that I applied it on the front or the back. Just gives it a slight little gloss to it and you can see a little bit of the brush strokes but overall amazing super cool and it dried in like 15 20 30 minutes i was just gone i ate a little bit and came back and my studio had my puzzle ready to go for me so super cool really dried a lot quicker than i expected and looks absolutely amazing too let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. This one really isn't a normal product unboxing, but I figured I would show you all exactly what I was using. This is kind of like an artsy and craftsy uh, type video, but I wanted to show you all exactly uh, what I had to offer for this as well. Plus, I have already featured the Mischief $1 million puzzle on the channel and wanted to show you all exactly what I planned on doing with those puzzles, which I think I mentioned already in the, in the actual unboxing of the puzzle. So... Definitely really appreciate you guys sticking around for this video. Oh, yeah, there's some of the glue right there. Just wipe some of the excess glue off. And we should be good. But all right, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Real Life Unboxing for more products with real life applications. 
Smash that notification bell to stay up to date on our newest uploads. And as always, keep it real.